What is going on, guys? Money Webby here, back again on Thursday. Some good plays yesterday, also some tough luck, uh, especially JJ Barea, who went down with an injury, only played 10 minutes in that game. For whatever reason, Reggie Jackson only played 20 minutes uh, in that game for the Pistons. They were down pretty big, like 15 points, but I figured he would get closer to 30 minutes, not 20. Maybe it was because he couldn't really even hit a shot, but he was still racking up some good drafting points. So that was kind of disappointing to see from him. But my best call by far was Marshawn Brooks in that video. The guy went absolutely bananas again. The DraftKings killer just racks up the points and drafting points in general. Only had 4,100. Had a crazy good night. So that was good to see. But we're back here again. A five-game slate. For this one, I got my money six for you. Six of my favorite plays. So go ahead and drop a like on the video if you're ready to go. Win some money here tonight. Let's just hop into it. Carl Anthony Towns at 9,800. He's going to be the first guy I'm looking at. This game between Minnesota and Denver. I think it's going to be very high scoring. A good game to stack up uh, and pick a lot of guys in this one. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns, 600 savings on Nikolai Jokic. I think both those guys are very reasonable to go with. But I think Carl Anthony Towns... Is just going to get a few extra minutes than Joe gets in this game and have the uh, opportunity to put up a few more shots and get a lot more rebounds. I think he might honestly get like a 20, uh, to maybe a 20 and 20 again like he got against Dallas. But I think he can honestly approach 30 points in this game and approach 20 rebounds in this one. So he has crazy potential. Uh, like that game against Atlanta we saw where he dropped 86 drafting points. Uh, without Jimmy Butler, he's really taken the offense over. We're shooting around like 20 shots per game recently. Uh, they're in must-win mode going for the playoffs. So this game between them and Denver, both those teams really need a win. So I think all of their starters are going to be playing massive minutes. So Carl Anthony Towns, like if you look at the minute log for him recently, uh, 36 against Utah. That was a blowout, but 44 against Dallas, 41 against Atlanta. He was already playing a lot of minutes before they got in must-win mode. But now, like, I think he's going to get, like, over 40 minutes as long as he stays out of foul trouble. I think he's going to be a good bet for 50-plus drafting points. At only 9,800, a good value there. So go ahead and lock him in there. And for my second guy, CJ McCollum, it's looking like uh, Damian Lillard is going to be out for this game. If he isn't out, then I'm not going to go with CJ McCollum. I'll tweet out a different guy on Twitter. But I'm assuming that Lillard is out based on everything I've seen. So CJ McCollum... Without Damian Lillard, that means a lot of opportunity for points. Uh, last game, we saw with him score 42, uh, 42 regular points. Without Lillard, he put up 25 shots, 55 drafting points. So a crazy big game there for CJ. So I think we'll have a huge uh, workload, like over 20 shots again in this game. Not sure if it's going to stay that close, but I think CJ McCollum can do enough before it gets into blowout territory to get over like 35 to 40 drafting points in this one. So at 7,500, not a bad price tag. Lock him in there. And for my third guy, I mentioned that I really love this Denver uh, Minnesota game. Jamal Murray has the best matchup on the court for Denver in this game going against Minnesota. Their defense against point guards is definitely not good. And Jamal Murray, another guy that's been playing a ton of minutes, like over 35 minutes all of his games recently and they had a big game against milwaukee two nights ago or two games ago i mean 42 drafting points on that one he's been playing much better at home this year and this game is in denver like if you look at the field goal percentage to three point percentage way up here at home and he's been playing very well against minnesota this year 43 drafting points on average in two games so everything's adding up for Jamal Murray to go over 40 drafting points in this game at only 6,300, a supreme value. I'm not sure why his price dipped down a little bit here, but I love the spot. Lock him in there. And for my fourth guy, we're going to stick with another guard here, another young guard. Donovan Mitchell going against the Clips. Another guy in a great matchup here going against them. So I think Donovan Mitchell is going to have another big game here, coming off a good showing against the Lakers where he dropped 39 drafting points. Another guy that his price really dropped to 71. 100. Uh, I think the price is very good. Going against the Clips, a team that needs the win desperately as well. Uh, so Donovan Mitchell, great spot there. Uh, the game honestly might turn into a blowout. I, I feel like the Clips don't match up that well with Utah, but Donovan Mitchell has a great matchup here on the other side of the token. So I love him a lot. 7,100. I think he honestly could go for 40 plus drafting points in this game. So go ahead and lock him in there. A nice little price tag. And for my fifth and final guy, it's going to be Jared Allen um, at 4,500. <clears throat> I don't feel like 
that great about him, like thinking that his upside is going to be crazy because his minutes are so weird. Uh, but this matchup against Milwaukee, it's just way too good. Uh, it's the best place to attack them. It's at that center position. He's done pretty well against them in two games, averaging 23 drafting points, shooting 68% from the field in those two games so it's definitely capable of being there i'm just hoping that he gets like around 25 minutes or so in this game they seem to only play in more minutes when they're going against that big man milwaukee doesn't really have that dominant big man so that's kind of certain concerning but at 4500 there's not that many cheap options on the slate but i think jared allen is a guy that can return around five times value, get around 25 drafting points or so. Hopefully a few extra minutes. I'm not sure why they're not giving him more minutes. You got to get to see what your young guys have. Like they're giving like 20 minutes a game to Quincy AC. Don't really understand that. I feel like Allen should be getting closer to 30 minutes, not around 20. But that's just me. I don't know. 4,500. Nice little value here. Lock them in there. And that got you up to 4,900 remaining per player. Like I mentioned, though, for my value guy tonight, there's not many guys like I like at this lower kind of uh, 4,000 and 3,000 range, honestly. If I'm being honest, at the five games late, it's tougher to find value sometimes. So I'm going to go with a little bit uh, more expensive value guy on this one. It's going to be Kelly Oubre Jr. going against the Cavs. We know that they struggle a lot against small forwards, and they're going to be going small ball, the Wizards that is like they have been going recently. So I think Oubre is going to be good for around 30 minutes recently. I mean, he's been missing every single shot he seems to be taking recently. Uh, but I think this is a good spot for him to back, bounce back against the Cavs. Like the Wizards, they probably will have Markeith Morris at that center position and then have Oubre at the small forward and Otto Porter at the power forward. So Oubre is going to begin that good uh, matchup at the small forward, like I mentioned, they've been very bad against small forwards this year. Uh, he's averaging 30 drafting points in three games against, shooting very well against them. So I like this matchup a lot for Kelly Oubre. At only 4900 his price took a little bit of a hit because he's been playing so bad recently. But this matchup is just so good against the Cavs. Like I said, the best place you can honestly attack them is at that small forward position. So Kelly Oubre, lock him in there. So that gets you remaining at 4,900 remaining per player with all the guys. You got McComb, Jamal Murray, Kelly Oubre, Carl Anthony Towns, Donovan Mitchell, and Jarrett Allen. I think McComb could go over 40. Jamal Murray could go over 40. Oubre could go over 30. Towns could go over 50. Mitchell could go over 40. Allen could go over 30. So all these guys have good value and upside at their prices. Besides really uh, Allen, he doesn't have crazy upside, but I think he's safe, especially good for cash games. So that is it for the plays. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it if you did, uh, and you can subscribe, hitting that little uh, red subscribe button. You can turn notifications on and get alerted every time I upload these videos. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter, at MoneyWebby, for any other plays that I tweet out and stuff like that, any updates. I tweeted about... um. Bismack, Biombo, and Aaron Gordon last night with Vucevic out. Kind of obvious, but uh, Biombo had a crazy good value night. They didn't get as many minutes as the Magic just went into tank mode. Uh, Gordon, got, I think, only got like 25 minutes or so, something stupid. Um, Biombo only got 20. So one, eight, they weren't able to reach their full potential, but they were doing absolutely insane in the minutes they got. So that could have been even better, better call from me. But you can, like I said, follow me on Twitter, at MoneyWebby. For any other, other uh, and any other updates on the plays and if any other news breaks so I can kind of pivot and mention some other guys on the slate. But good luck tonight, guys, on this five-game slate, and we'll see you back here again tomorrow.